to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free Hershey RV show and we came back and we have the same feeling we like Tampa better <laughs> <laughs> Tampa the RV show is just a lot more fun yeah. uh, more spread out a lot more going on a lot more indoor uh, oh, vendors as well indoor vendors, yeah. we also want to thank everybody that did stop out for our meet and greet on Saturday at the Grinch display yes thank you guys we that meant a lot that. to stop by and say hi and get a chance to talk to you and meet everybody. And, yeah. We love seeing the familiar faces and, and get, getting to see you again and talk to you again. Yeah. But always great to, uh, to see new faces yeah. and uh, put faces to some of the comments that right, uh, we've yeah. never, you know, we've never seen people, some people before. So, so thank you again. Yeah. We were a little late taking off this morning. Uh, we didn't make our coffee or anything, so we're going to swing by somewhere and grab a coffee to go. And we're heading to uh, up towards the Pocono Mountains. We've never been there before. And we're going to take a tour ride today. A train. A choo choo. A <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> On my birthday. <laughs> On your birthday. It's your birthday. Hey, shawty. It's okay. Yeah. I, no. I wasn't going to attempt it, so. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really glad. <laughs> Um, coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you made it out of there without getting anything sweet. It was it was tempting. <laughs> yes, I could, I could see it in your eyes. They were <laughs> they were glittering. Glittering? They're glowing. town here. Town of Jim Thorpe. Actually used to be called, what was it called? Mouse Chunk. It's chilly up here in the mountains. Mm -hmm. It's like 65 right now, but uh, it's supposed to drop a few more degrees yet. We had to go down and turn around and come back to get into this parking lot. And hopefully we and have here a place we are. to park. Do what we could, my friend, but now we're at the end. We had no idea if it was going to be too busy. And we didn't want to get stuck not getting anything to eat at all. So we got a little seltzer sweet bologna. Oh, yeah. Green onion cheese from mm -hmm. the country deli, no, country market. Yeah, it's a grocery store just right up the road from Thousand Trails Hershey. Thousand Trails Hershey, it's considered Lebanon. Yeah. But we got this last time we were there two years ago. I mean, it's a bunch of bologna, but it... It's good. No, it's really good. So we thought we'd get it again. We should have got more before we left. Yeah, I know. We got a pound and we're like, that's plenty. Or like, it's all, there's two slices left. <laughs> Within, was it three days? Yeah. <laughs> so these parking spots, these... Uh, 
here are pretty long. We have to pay to park here too, so they charged us $12. We chose car, and the other option was for RV camper, camper bus trailer. And that's because you take up more than one spot. We only took up one spot, so we put cars. We asked the guy, and he said that's fine. But it was $12 for us, and it looks like it's 24 hours, so it yeah. lasts until tomorrow. But for something bigger, you have to park all the way to the end. We're way down there. And we gotta go way, we can't even see where we gotta go. We got about 35 minutes before we board. An hour before our tour. Got you red-handed. There's a couple places known as the Switzerland of America. One being Uray, Colorado, and the other is right here in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Jim Thorpe is a picturesque town nestled in the foothills of the Pocono Mountains in northeast Pennsylvania. Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania was founded in 1818 as Mouse Chunk, a name derived from the term Mouse Unk, which means bear place in the language of the native Muncie Lenape Delaware peoples. Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania was once the second most popular tourist destination in the country, right behind Niagara Falls. Visitors from all over the world come to wander the inviting old world streets and to discover exhilarating outdoor adventure right on the town's doorstep in Lehigh George State Park. And don't forget to stop by Pocono Mountains Visitor Center inside the train station. On the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway, century-old coaches powered by diesel engines take passengers into Lehigh Gorge State Park. Well, the tickets we got are the dome tickets, so we're up a little higher. Also, up here it's climate control. They also have cars that are open. Burr yeah. today. Mm. Glad we didn't get that. Mm -mm. You can bring food, drinks on here if you want, but I believe they said they don't sell it on here though. Right. Michelle mm -hmm. brought donuts and pastries. Too messy. I don't want to eat them on here. We'll see. <laughs> Jim George Riddle approached the town looking for a final resting place for her husband. An agreement between the family and the two towns was finalized in May of that year, and the site of the Olympians' final resting place began. Lots of money, all saving another soldier during the mission in Iraq. Potent to the public in 2016, not to replace the Formula 903 bridge. The current bridge is nearly 1,000 feet long. It sits approximately 100 feet above the Lehigh River. And it leads visitors up to Jim Thorpe's Memorial on the east end of town, beyond that, into the Poconos. Spans the Leon River and provides a connection both rail and pedestrians right. between Jim Thorpe and the Lehigh Forest State Park. The bridge was actually rebuilt by the Red Indian Northern in 2003 to connect the railroad and the trail to downtown Jim Thorpe. 
Look him up. You'll see the Lehigh River Burp. looking right up to the brief view of the town of East Kempthorpe. That far New Jersey Center Road on your right is not a biking trail. This trail runs over 20 miles up to the town of Wayne Haven. in a while that would be pretty with the colors but you have no real big open uh, views nothing like that and it, it was uh, to sit up here it was thirty dollars uh, each and to sit downstairs i think it was 24. some of the open air areas down there this is climate controlled which is very chilly right now they got the air conditioning cranked but we're going to go back and uh, probably walk around the town a little bit more and see what all there is, see if there's anywhere good to eat because we're starving. And uh, maybe, hopefully, we'll have time to go see the uh, Jim Thorpe Memorial before we head over to the campground and hopefully check in before it gets dark. That's a lot to do before it gets dark. It is. We can do it. choices around the area. Some have some decent radians. We might go to Antonio's Pizza. They, we stopped by there and they said they had gluten-free pizza. Some places are already closed too. Right. We didn't really have a whole lot to cheat. It is Sunday and it's a national holiday. It's Brian Patizio's birthday. Cutter, and then some shells pizza. I got the meat lovers, and she got the special. And she went for some silverware. Did you get silverware? Maybe. 60 gigs a year now. We do this shit full time. Yeah, yeah. Give it up here for my daughter, Sienna, holding this shit down. 17. She's killing it, right? And throughout the night, you will notice you don't see any iPads, there's no tapes. There's nothing we're playing to. It's all, even a tambourine's my foot. Anyone to forget, leave here tonight to forget how blessed we all are to be enjoying this night together, all of us. You know, we'll never get back together, any of us, like this, this moment. Thank you for sharing it with us. Well, 
cool little town here. We would highly suggest coming to coming to check it out. Very very fun place. It is very touristy. Can you imagine when those all turn to fall colors? How beautiful this town would be. Yeah, very very pretty. I know we're just a little too early. Yes. So now we're gonna try to make it before dark to go see that Jim Thorpe uh, Memorial, and then we're going to uh, head over to campground. James Francis Thorpe, or Jim Thorpe, was an American athlete and Olympic gold medalist. A member of the Sac and Fox Nation, Thorpe was the first Native American to win a gold medal for the United States in the Olympics. Considered one of the most versatile athletes of modern sports, he won two Olympic gold medals in the 1912 Summer Olympics, one in the classic pentathlon and the other in decathlon. He also played collegiate in professional football, professional baseball, and basketball. He lost his Olympic titles after it was found that he had been paid for playing two seasons of semi-professional baseball before competing in the Olympics, thus violating the contemporary amateurism rules. In 1983, 30 years after his death, the International Olympic Committee restored his Olympic medals with replicas after ruling that the decision to strip him of his medals fell outside of the required 30 days. Official records still list Thorpe as co-champion in decathlon and pentathlon until 2022 when it was decided to restore him as the sole champion in both events. Thorpe has received numerous accolades for his athletic accomplishments. See that that's what the symbol is? The spirit of thunder and lightning. Oh my. It's the only thing we're missing here. Holding an umbrella I think I'll do without. The Associated Press ranked him as the greatest athlete from the first 50 years of the 20th century, and the Pro Football Hall of Fame inducted him as part of its inaugural class in 1963. Forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.